Where are you going with that froglet? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Touchdown! Oh my goodness, did you guys see that? <laughs> Froglet went downstairs, he went to another den, dug up a dirt clump, and then he started walking away with it. And I was like, where on earth is he going? So I followed him, and the answer is that- oh, there was one of the toys too. The answer is that he got yeeted in here, where he went ahead and he added to the dirt patch a, another dirt clod. Good on you, Froglet, looking out for the younger generation, being able to have dens upon dens to rest in after you. Uh, and also so good on you, you're, you're a good puppy, good puppy. I, I really like the back legs, like Frog lives up to their day. But all right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where we have extremely angry puppies like Cloud. Oh, <gasps> tree! Do not destroy the tree, collect the tree, yes! I can add another tree. Where we have very angry puppies. Cloud, okay, Cloud's mad about life. Is there anything I can feed you? Let's feed Cloud some mini pumpkins. We still haven't found, and you know what, and a lunar pie. And I feel like Cloud still like needs to calm down. We'll give him some pumpkins. So we'll go ahead and we'll store like, I'll we'll just store all the pumpkins. Then we'll go ahead and remove everything in the chest. Look at that Cloud. Literally like a gift from the sky. You can angrily chomp all of these pumpkins. Some people bake bread when they're upset. Whoops, oh, okay. I think, was that a dog? <laughs> Froglet, oh no. Um, You know, friends, it's occurring to me, Cloud might have a problem with the transportation setup that we have arranged. And maybe it's the fact that he keeps being yeeted back and forth and smashed into and doesn't seem to even be able to finish one gosh darn good meal before he's yeeted all over again. Maybe that's what's giving him a little bit of a cranky attitude. Uh, like you, no, no, I can, I can, I can practically hear you, wonderful pixelbiologist, protesting and saying, no, 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 Siri, look, look, look. He has the antagonistic personality. That's why he's always mad. But can you really look this puppy in the face and deny that he has actually had an extremely trying life in all of the twelve minutes that he has existed? No, no, I don't think you can. I, I think I think you would have to admit like he's angry, and that's really hard to be that angry. I I feel bad. There's not a way to soothe him more. Baby petting will that calm you down, Cloud? Does that help? Oh, wait, does it really calm the angry puppies down when you give them? Pet? Oh no, that's precious. I wasn't sure, but it worked. There you go. There! Oh, this is beautiful. There you go. Here you go, Cloud. If nothing more dramatic happens today, then you'll probably end up being the glorious, like, absolutely wonderful thumbnail. There you go. Proving that science probably went too far, but we're having a good time while we're doing it. Alright. Oh, oh, wait! You don't need more food! You don't need more food! You sit! Good puppy! There. Now we're not so angry. Alright, Celery, how you doing? Are you frozen in place, friend? Okay, just spinning in the air. Celery the Eighth, you have a very important job because you are about to actually puppy into adulthood, carrying forth the next generation of wobbly dogs. And that means that you need to stuff yourselves full of all of the fortune cookies that can possibly go into your three heads, one stomach. I, upon reflection, it would be a little hard to have three heads and one stomach because I imagine that like each of the heads would like a chance to have tasty, yummy food that tastes good. However, that means that, like, you only have one stomach you're working with, so, like, you'd have to be really careful about how much you ate. That's, that's, it's a little harder to be a wobble dog than I really thought. I'm glad that I've been trying more to live in their world and have a bit of empathy for the struggles of the common wobble dog. Let's see, let's go ahead and we're gonna plant a seed. Where's my, there's my tree basic tree from bud puppies. Somebody please remind me to go ahead and have an excellent crossover of adding a garden shop called bud puppies to zoo crafting. 
with some of the Wobble Dogs in attendance, that would be amazing. Little, can you imagine that? Little Wobble Dog, Bud Puppies, tiny little shops popping all over the world of Zudesia, selling you basic trees. And, you know, maybe blue blanket flowers, red cap mushrooms, puffball mushrooms, golden blanket flowers, gold lupine flowers, and pink blanket flowers. I think that would be absolutely amazing. All right, I'm gonna need reminded because I also have like the Swiss cheese brain. Like there's so much to keep track of. I really can't blame myself. Oh, oh what? When did somebody dig up a bowling pin? Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Raisin bread, how are you? Are you doing okay? I'm, I'm happy you were able to get so far like from your raisins. Um, I'm gonna give you a little praise for biting the raisins. I'm gonna let you lay, oh, 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 he, oh, that was a negative towards the food. <gasps> Raisin is antagonistic too? No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna work with you. We're gonna, we can save this. We can save this. We will make it so Raisin will appreciate being, like, live, like, uh, this is like, a uh, 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 pillow fort but it's with you know you know when you make what do they call it the cardboard forts that you make as a child which probably are a lot more popular than now than when i was a kid because everyone probably has like a gigantic pile of amazon boxes somewhere in their garage <laughs> um you know those like making those little cardboard like forts that's all we're trying to do with raisin bread and i know that they feel a little bit differently because you know the whole antagonistic thing are you sleeping okay good no sleeping that means I can feel, oh, yeah, I tried to catch you. I'm sorry, Cloud. Do you want to eat one more one more ham slider for me before we pup bait? I know the rule used to be pup bait them like more or less right away. And I'm trying to do that, but everything's just so funny. I just, I can't help myself. There's so much to pay attention to. Please don't let Cloud's, oh, thank goodness. I thought his cocoon was going to get sucked like into the little, oh, oh, oh. Dig in there! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, 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 here. Okay. Gentle! See, that's just like Rockabye Baby in the treetops. I didn't know most yeet you at like the speed of a Mach 52. There you go, Cloud. Okay, I'm glad you're good. Um, We'll come back to you. Also, where is... Uh, oh, an egg! Excellent! Excellent, you might say. All right, we'll collect that. Clean up the poop. Uh, hello? <gasps> Goose! Goose, I almost yeeted you out of there because I was looking. Oh, there you are, Celery the Seventh. Celery, whoa, we still have like, like the the wings of your, your forefathers. I think that's good luck that you're one of our winged dogs to feed you like the wings of like your parents. I'm sure that's good luck in Wobble Dog culture. Paradise is sleeping. We'll palpate them last because we can go ahead and work on these guys. Fiona! There's like no food in here for you, my dear. Hang on. Fiona, what do I want to do with you? Should I figure out what the raisins do first? Uh, not pancake because that makes them flat. Um, I love Fiona's coloring. And I think Fiona has gotten most of their coloring. Ooh, okay. I, I was trying to put off finding out what the gut flora did, but I think it's time. Uh, but I think Fiona has gotten most of their coloring from the macaroons because it's pushing the more blue tone into the purple of their legs. So I think I might feed Fiona a bunch of macaroons in just a second. However, Oh, we don't know what a superficially one note flora with some prize and complexity from the pumpkin and one other thing uh, actually gives from the Arocalphus. Does this one move? Yeah, this one moves too. Uh, and then the Phenobacti makes you small and that is the raisins. Got it. Is that all the raisins do? I'm gonna have to double check that. Um, but that means I need macaroons, and macaroons are a dessert dispenser item, right? Yeah, right. So, all right. We shall press the like button again by piling up some macaroons, and watch this. It's like Uber Eats for our puppies. Oh, wait, that was the wrong thing! <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> oh my gosh! We just yeeted a cocoon into the void! I didn't know you could do that! You know what, Fiona? We're gonna lean into this. We're gonna lean into this. It was a mistake at the restaurant, we'll say. Uh, or, you know, in the, the lab cafeteria, but we can try to jazz up life for these little ones. Uh, we're gonna eat some of the cocoons instead. Like, because that might give you some more legs, among other things. We're gonna give you a lot of pets for good luck. There you go. And now you're like, oh yay, food is tasty. Hopefully, oh, chipmunk. No, chipmunk! Oh, dang it! I ended up, I was trying to get chipmunk, like, out of the way for Fiona to be able to go ahead and puppy. I thought I was clicking on Fiona, but I wasn't. Whoops. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, okay, Paradise, you up? Yep, Paradise is up. All right, let's give you some pets. I think the time has come. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you Oh, look at you. Oh, my, the, the, the absolute masterpiece of my genetic experiments thus far. Look at you. You've got the wings. You've got the tail. You've got the heads, the legs, the coloring. Also, you're kind of getting a little flat, and I might want to watch out for that so that we don't end up having, um, we don't end up having a very flat dog. That's, that would be interesting. <gasps> Froglet, no! Oh my gosh! That's it, Paradise, you're gonna hatch like right away. Froglet needs Froglet children. <gasps> Froglet, Froglet, eat, eat! Froglet, what has happened to you? Your whole adult life, I thought you were able to go ahead and eat more. Okay, come on, come on. You don't need the final sleep yet. I will get the other, oh. Okay, look, we're gonna give you pets. We're gonna give you pets. We're gonna give you pets. Stay with us. Stay with us. We're gonna get you. I don't think we have even managed to like grab your genes yet. Oh dear. All right, uh, hang on. Emergency. Emergency. I'm going to go ahead. Dun 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 Uh, yeah, this is, this is just, um, froglet jeans. Yeah, I'll, I'll, this dog will disappear. Uh, and I'm just gonna save Froglet in here so that I can save his jeans in a gigantic word file that I have theoretically, at least most of, <clears throat> of our wobble dogs in there. Uh, so Froglet, you go ahead, you rest. I'm going to go ahead, okay, raisin bread. Everyone puppy it so I can figure out who's gonna be an adult and we can get Froglet into the like egg mixy mat. Oh my gosh. Wow! That's so cool! That's so cool! Oh my word, I just realized that when Angel Bug, a few days ago, when I was, you know, we were with Angel Bug, and I was like, oh, why does Angel Bug have a little X for a belly button? Wow. I bet a bunch of you guys are laughing. That's okay. That's all right. It was a it was an innocent seriousism. So we had a random mutation for the color change. It actually had nothing to do with the availability of raisins. It seems. Um, leg change, body size went down. Random mutation of nose size down. Leg gloss, body gloss. I don't think we had anything that was a result of the raisins happen there. Cloud, let's go ahead. So you're juvenile, so you're gonna be young adult. So not a froglet candidate. Sorry, Cloud. Ooh. Okay, Cloud is, is actually random mutation of coloration. Uh, back top leg length has gone way down, actually 11%. Tail size up, body size up, snout rotation down, because we fed a lot of droopies. Uh, and glossiness has kind of gone up, I feel like, but apparently it's gone down except on the legs. Nice, Cloud, keep it up. All right, Celery the Eighth, you're gonna be an adult, good. You and Froglet might create like some history. Those wings, these, these, look at how beautifully silky and shiny those wings look. That is fantastic. That is so fantastic. Wing size up 29%. <gasps> you lucked out on the fortune cookies, except for the head on the left. I, I could understand if maybe you don't appreciate having bigger wings. Uh, body girth also went up, snout rotation down. Everything else pretty good. All right, good. Uh, let's see, chipmunk. And I swear I'm gonna clean all of this up and we're gonna get the little vacuum out at some point. There's just, you know, wobble dogs. You gotta you, you gotta go at the rate that the puppies need you. Um, Good, good, good. Oh, snout length. So a little snout length. 
apparently got a lot more. And oh, the body gloss too. I thought the snout seemed a little bit shinier. It's kind of hard to tell, but I like it, Chipmunk. You continue to eat whatever the heck you want. Also, watch out, Fiona's coming down. Wow, you actually watched out. I, I kind of thought maybe that would be a soft landing for Fiona, but no. Fiona's tail! Oh, and Fiona's an adult! Fiona and Froglet! Maybe their forces combined will be like the most adorable things ever. Also, also the only significant thing seems to be slight color variation and leg gloss went down. Okay, Fiona, you're also an adult. Oh my gosh, in Paradise. Paradise is going to be an adult too. Okay, Froglet, we're coming for you and your genes. Don't fear. We're almost there. All oh, these wings. Oh man. Body color, subtle changes. Front bottom leg length, sig uh, pretty significantly up. Wing size, not up that much. I have to admit that the celery actually won out over paradise there. Tail size, unfortunately down just a little bit. However, adulthood has been reached. Let's do this. All right, Froglet. Who's up? Oh, wait, wait, we don't need Froglet's jeans because that's, I, I, I consider that kind of cheaty. I try to only use the, the dogs that we have unless we're doing like some sort of special episode maybe for like reach a certain number of wobble dogs or Siri just wants to have a day where I do that. I mean, that that's special for its own reasons. Uh, is that Rosebush? That's Rosebush. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that chaos of over 100 legs. <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna grab Froglet. Froglet, okay, oh, there, oh my gosh, I have forgotten how to do it. And I was like, what is going on? Um, let's do Froglet and Celery the eighth, and then Froglet and Goose. Froglet and, is, is Fiona, Froglet and Fiona. Mm, Froglet and Fiona first. I love, I love both of them. That head is so tiny. Oh my gosh. And then this one's so smiley and this one's so cute and that one's tail is so big. Oh, where do I even pick? These look like perfect squirrel tails, don't they? You know when the little squirrels all hunch up and it's like, dwee, dwee. That, that's what it looks like, little angry gray squirrel. Um, So let's crossbreed you. And I like your eyes. So let's try those, those groups. Oh, I guess the other dog had those eyes too. That's all right. Woo! Okay, so now we're getting dragonfly wings in the mix, which could be interesting. I love the, the tail. We're not getting multiple tails anymore. Let's try... Let's actually try the different color variations again. Wow, it's loud in here. <gasps> Look at this litter! Look at this litter of lovely little squirrel puppies! Oh my gosh, I actually, we might pick one of these because look at this tail. I don't want to be so greedy that we pass up, but like the one that's really, really curly is really cute. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I, I want so many more. I want so many more of these puppies. And this one's like a darker mossy green with the little eyes. Oh, how am I gonna pick? How am I gonna pick? How am I gonna pick? But this one's tail is actually like curling. It's so long. We could make a Vulpix. We could make a Vulpix. Forgive me all the other little ones. I have found the victor. There we are. One egg down. But which one left to go? I feel very conflicted about this decision actually. All right. Well, okay, guys. I'm actually going to do a little bit of tidying up. I'm going to uh, stick this egg. <laughs> Look at the reason mountain. I'm going to stick this egg in somewhere useful. Uh, can I get myself? Ooh, hey, hey. Ooh, I, bowling pin. Uh, yes. Let's come over, and I think I'm going to go ahead. And I'm kind of on the squirrely senses right now. We're gonna get that one incubated too. But all right, guys. If you would like to join us for some uh, fun fun squirrel tail dog making action uh then you guys know what to do but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye